If you're a drone pilot and you're struggling to get clients for your drone business, stay tuned for this video because I'm going to show you exactly how I find clients for my drone business. My name is Rick Burroughs. You're watching Drone Maverick. Let me help you and let's get right into this video. Allow me to introduce to you Bark.com. Bark.com is literally the place where people go to put out on the internet saying, I'm looking for a drone pilot and I need him right now. Here's how it works. When you click the link below, it's going to take you to a page where you can set up your account. Setting up your business profile is actually very, very simple. Let me go into edit profile to give you an idea what it looks like. Your profile will be at a certain percentage and they say, okay, we need to get all this information about you. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go into the about section. You're going to upload your company logo, your company name. I put a little picture of myself, I put my name, my contact information is right there so they can contact me. Company location, you're gonna go in and fill out all this information. I have the address where I'm gonna be located. I'm gonna scroll down, fill out the about company. I have, I'm just self-employed, I've been in business for two years. And you need to create a message that's clear enough so people listen to you and they pay attention to what you're saying and it always has to be a solution to their problem. You're gonna go through and then continue to add your services. What exactly do you do? For me, I type in, um, I, add a, I click add a service. What type of service is it? So we put aerial images of vacant land. This is what I say to people every single time when I meet them. We photograph land using drones and we draw the property lines on the images. That is so clear, that is so crystal clear to the client that they know exactly what they're gonna be getting. Then you click save, boom. Then you had add photos, upload photos of your drone services. It's all really basic stuff. So I go in, I'm gonna say, hey, I got these drone pictures, and they can scroll through and they can see a whole variety of the drone photography that you do. And you can also upload YouTube links that you have of videos that you have made. So people can check it out and be like, hey, I've been looking for a drone pilot who does this. And you click save, go down to social media. This is all like super easy stuff, super basic stuff. You go in, if you have a Facebook page or a Twitter account, you put that in there. Same thing with your website. Having a website is really, really important. And maybe I'll make another video on how to create a website for your drone business. If you want me to show you how to do that, leave a comment below and I'll show you some great resources. You would click save, you go down to accreditation. I mean, I got my drone pilot license, maybe I should put that in there. And then you go down here and you click save. You can even go in here and go into the questions and answers, like what do you love most about what you're doing? You're setting up your profile so people can know exactly who you are, what they're going to be getting into. Next, you need to set up your lead preferences, which is basically your drone pilot looking for people who are looking for a drone pilot. To do that, you click on settings, you go down to my services, and then you go over to add service. You click on add service, and then you start typing aerial photography. Now, I had already selected aerial photography, so it's not gonna let me do it twice. But when you click on add service, it's gonna it's gonna put it right there. You only wanna set your services up as a drone photography service. Next, you're gonna set up the locations for where you're willing to work by clicking add location, click on distance, I set it to 50 miles, and then I type in the town that I'm living in. Canyon Lake, Texas, and it draws this circle around Canyon Lake. So when I click next, anybody who's within that circle who's saying i need a drone pilot they say hey bark.com i need a drone pilot it's gonna pop up in front of me so then you click next and then save and i went through and i put all these towns i'm willing to drive out there so this section right here says online remote leads i think this may be working online to provide a service for them um i'm not really working from them like that i mean i kind of am but Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard and then let's scroll it down. Your profile should look like this. You have your lead preferences, you have the distance all set up, and then they estimate you're going to get about six leads a week. And that's a good estimation because that's what I've been pretty much getting. So now that your profile's all set up, this is how you find the people who are looking for you. You click on leads and it says this. 
this guy named Jake is looking for an aerial drone ph photographer in Austin, Texas. And it says one professional has already responded so you know, hey, I gotta jump on this. Then he says the reason I need drone footage for a site I'm looking to sell. And guys, this is all you have to do. You click contact Jake. Now in order for Bark.com to reveal the contact information, you have to exchange money, which I've been doing this for a few years and I tell you what, it is so worth it. So you go over to your settings and you scroll down. My credits is what you click on and then you buy credits. So here's how it works. Your potential client comes to Bark.com and Bark.com gives them a score on how high the demand is for a drone pilot. That guy Jake, he got a score of 18 credits. Bark.com says, okay, you need to give us 18 credits and then we'll give you the contact information. You simply go into settings, you click my credits, and then you click buy credits. Now I want you to hesitate for a second because Bark.com says you purchased 60 credits. Click the buy now button to get 60 extra credits. It's tricky. It's a fast little movement where you would have accidentally clicked buy now and bought another 60 credits. Next you'll notice this auto top up is currently off. That means when I run out of credits, I have to manually buy more credits to trade con to trade information. If you have this selected, you're setting it up to automatically withdraw from your account when you run out of credits. So if you're down to two and you need 20 and you click the contact button, then it's gonna automatically take out 108 bucks, 200 bucks, 367 bucks. Whatever you click right here, it will automatically withdraw that amount of money. I found this out the hard way, I didn't know. I didn't know I was down a couple credits and then it took it took 108 bucks out of my out of my account. So I select that as off. So now that you've purchased this lead for your business, you can go send them an email, which they already have one set up, and then you click send. So here's what I'm writing in order to stand out among the other people who are reaching out to this client. All I'm doing is looking at what they say they need and I'm putting it right back into the email. Hi Jake, I'm a drone pilot that works in Austin and I found your construction site job on Mark. How can I help you? Has the job already been taken care of? I can help you today or tomorrow and get you the aerial drone photos delivered within 48 hours or less. My rates are $200 for aerial images fully edited. I have found that people are willing to pay 200 bucks for one site. Fully edited photos within like a short amount of time, yeah, to them, that's really, that's a good deal to them. Now before I send this, what you want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all, I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to click, I'm going to click send, email has been sent, and then I'm going to send the exact same thing to them. So basically, they only allow, I forgot, they only allow 160 characters. So basically, hi hey Jake, I'm a drone pilot that works in Austin. I found your construction site job on Bark. How can I help you? Has the job already been taken care of? Easy, simple, boom. And you send the message to them. Now what I will do is I will give it maybe about 15 minutes, and if they don't respond, then I will click the call button, then it reveals their phone number, and then I can call them. All this information the client put in willingly. They said, yes, I want to be contacted through email, by phone number, or text message. Now, you've sent out your first email, you've made a phone call, you sent out a text message, and now it's in the client's hands. You have to wait for them to respond, which they typically do really quickly. And right here, I can select whether the status is pending, they've hired me, or I've archived it. And then you can see like all these other leads that have contacted within the last month, the last couple weeks, these people. And then if I go to the hired section, these two people have hired me and these two people alone, I have made well over 800 bucks. So let's talk pricing. People are willing to pay $200 for a drone picture. Between one and three plots of land, they will pay up to $200. Then $75 per lot after that. They're willing to pay $300 for a drone video. And then $800 to $8,000 for a 3D map. 
Next thing you must do is do a bro fist with a cat, then hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment below. If you don't, I will send him to your front porch and he will do this crazy thing to your hand. He may even jump on you and attack your face. And you don't want that to happen. Bro fist, hit the like button right over here, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Click on the link below to get a seller account at Bark.com and start getting clients for your drone business within the next week or two. My name is Rick Perros. You're watching Drone Maverick. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.